Alright guys, what is going on? It is Jay. I am back at it. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a meal prep. I'm going to be doing what I'm doing for my meal prep. Um, if that works for you, that's awesome. If not, you can scale down the, the, um, the numbers a little bit to fit your macros and whatever you're trying to do. So, if you guys have not downloaded the MyFitnessPal app, I highly suggest you do. It makes things so much simpler. Even knowing what you are putting in your body, is it makes you so much more conscious. When the first time I was losing weight, I did not do that and I still lost the weight just because of I was eating super duper consistent. I was eating the same thing every single day. So now I feel like it makes it, it'll make it a lot easier to understand what I'm putting in my body as far as macros and they even have micronutrients on there. And you can search for every anything that they have if you have something that, so like for this protein powder that I have, all I have to do is scan that little barcode and it brings up it brings up the serving sizes, it brings up absolutely everything about it. So I, my fitness pal is amazing to use. But so what I'm doing is I have my chicken and I already cut it up. I cut it up a few days ago and I was gonna make this meal prep video a few days ago, but my uh, camera died. So, and I didn't have any extra batteries. Rookie mistake. So I will put some clips of me cutting it. All I'm doing on the on cutting it is just cutting the fat off of it, trimming it down a little bit, making it a little bit more lean so it doesn't have any fat on it. As you guys can see, I do not have a lot of counter space. So I'll be, it's really not that hard to work with what you have always. You should always work with what you have obviously, but I don't have that much counter space. You can see this is, this is my hand. <laughs> And that's how much is on that side. Obviously very similar on that side, this is my iPhone. This, my girlfriend put this bench in, or this uh, table in here. So that adds, that adds a little bit more counter space, but all in all we don't have, there's probably a solid three, four feet of counter space. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how you can make anything work for you and I'm not even going to be using my uh, stove top I'm just gonna be using the oven and the microwave yeah the oven and the microwave and my rice cooker so hopefully you guys enjoy and we will get into the the cooking now I am using Pam extra virgin olive oil spray easy good stuff first thing you should do is probably turn on your oven preheat it that's a real thing. So what you want to do is preheat the oven. I do. I go to 450. 450. All right. You can do it. You can put it on 450 and uh, just preheat it while you're you're cutting it or something. So you can just make use of your time uh, the right way. I already cut the chicken, so. I already had that part in there, but girlfriend keeps walking by, staring at me like I'm a weirdo. But now, spray the pan and put the chicken down. Anytime you're working with raw chicken, always remember to wash your hands afterwards. Just remember that. Right here, this is this is where I'm gonna season it. Just I'm, I usually just throw all the seasoning on the same stuff. I use this Mrs. Dash garlic uh, and herb salt-free sauce or uh, seasoning, and then also this organic Cajun seasoning. I love them both. And then on so those are the only two that I'm gonna use for this meal prep. I'm gonna put all of them on the same, all the chicken on the same stuff. So, 
I will show you guys that. Both of, both of those seasonings are calorie free. So they aren't gonna add any calories to your meal and I'll show you the macros whenever I get done with this, okay? You wanna stir it up to make sure all the seasoning goes to every single piece semi-evenly. It's like I'm making a pizza. <laughs> All right guys, so while that is what is uh, preheating, like the oven is preheating, we can start something else. So what we're gonna do, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, start cooking the rice in my rice cooker right here. My rice cooker. So, if you don't know how to cook rice in a rice cooker, for every one cup of rice, it's two cups of water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two cups of rice so four cups of water. So now all you do is you hit this little thing that says cook. And in, X, in the next amount of time, it'll start cooking. She's so annoyed with me right now. Is this is what it's like living at your height. She's so big. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. I don't know why I don't want to clean stuff more. Because <laughs> it's cleaning. I feel like it looks dirty for me. All right, guys. So the oven is preheated now. Nice and nice and toasty for you. <laughs> so literally, all you do is put the pans in the oven. Right. Pan in the oven, timer, 23 minutes, and we're golden. Now we're gonna cook the veggies, right? And I'm just gonna put them in the microwave. Make it quick, easy, and effective. Microwave, microwave safe dish. Microwave. We have a really crappy microwave, so uh, it has to go on nine minutes instead of like the six and a half, because I think it's only like 800 watts. Ugh. So now, all we do is uh, wait. Wait for everything to get done. So, I think I'm gonna annoy my girlfriend now. Caitlin, what are you doing? If you put this on your radio, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, the uh, chicken is done, so what we're going to do, ow, I really didn't mean to do that, that was a good accent. Bad girls out of here, didn't even look at that at all, such a good deal. Sure, you don't want my help, it's fine. There we go. Always remember to turn off your oven. She didn't do it one night. All right guys, so what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing 12 ounces of chicken. I'll tell you, cause I forget. <laughs> the app would restart. Here we go. I'm gonna do 12 ounces of chicken. I'm gonna do two thirds a cup of rice and then 101 grams of the mixed veggies. And then I will do that until I run out of food. <laughs> and then if I have extra of any of the stuff, I will just put that in one container and then use that for the next one, which I'm sure I'm gonna have extra either rice or uh, veggies, cause I didn't make, I don't, I thought we had a bigger pan for the chicken, so I could just put a bunch of chicken in it, but we don't, so I just had to use two different ones, two different cookie trays, so I will show you guys that right now. All right, I will be putting the links to like my uh, food scale, rice cooker, and the meal prep containers in the description box below. Just letting you know. All right, so what you're gonna do is put whatever you're on, doing on the scale and then zero it out. It's super easy, you just hit the button, it zeroes out. And then we're gonna do 12 ounces of chicken. Super easy, just scoop it on here. Perfect. 12 ounces of, so we got that. I already got it. Yeah. Yeah. For this one, we're gonna do the veggies next and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 101 grams. 
And the reason I did 101 is because it came out to a weird number and I knew no one would like that. So, I lied. We're going to do 104 grams. And then just zero it out again. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do two thirds a cup of rice in here. So, there's one third and two thirds. All right, then we are done with that one. And then we just do it until we have X amount of containers with your meal prepped in it. I assume we're probably only going to get like three or four containers if that. So, boom skis. <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see, it's not that hard to do it. It just takes 30 minutes. And if you made more chicken than that, or you use less chicken, then you would have less time to, to prep it basically. So I hope you got some sort of value out of my out of this video. I appreciate you all watching this. If you like it, leave a thumbs up. Um, if you want, if you think I should have done something differently, tell, leave a comment. I always read the comments. I always respond to the comments, and then uh, share this as well. And just remember, the girlfriend's always wrong. <gasps> that is not true. <laughs> But I appreciate you guys watching this video. Like I said, 2018 is going to be the year. We're going to be, we're going to get good. All of us, me, you, this one right here, okay. this one might actually be good for once. That one might actually be good for once. Wait, I start my train. <laughs> yes. But I appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of the day and peace.